Hi, uh, this is Ahmed. Uh, now I'll show you how to do the analysis on bike mount. Uh, I'll get the image that we just picked. Ahmed test. This is the montage that we worked on earlier. Okay, so uh, to do the analysis, I want to get you familiar with many tools here. So if you want to move, like if you're one to one box and you want to move like right or left, you could always do that. This arrows move half a frame, so if you hit it twice, that's a perfect frame to either way. And um, to start the analysis, we have to set a new data set. So let's say create a new data set, and then you name that set Ahmed test, and you hit the output folder as Ahmed, and you select it. After that, you hit the the, uh, the template that you want to use. Usually, I use the trabecular bone template, the trabecular rodent one. For the non-tumor bones, is of measuring that, uh, if I want to measure the trabecular bones. Or, in this case, since it's a tumor bone, I would get the bone metastasis template. And then I hit next. This is the name of the individual project or the slide. So this is Ahmed test one. And uh, here is the items you want to measure in this slide so let's say something like that i would i want to measure the tissue volume the bone volume and the tumor volume you can save this set if you're going to use it repeatedly over like 50 samples in a row so you hit save list and then you save it under your name and instead of going back and choosing one by one you just while it's an empty list you could like if it's an empty list that way you can just go there and say load open list or load list and then this is Ahmed test it will show you and uh, the same thing with the calculation box you could start a new array so in this array you want to calculate the the bone volume and the tumor volume for instance and here the the equation for the BV per tumor volume and then you could again save it and then for the next sample just load it Okay, so uh, now we will start with the tumor volume. Uh, one thing I want you to get you familiar with the tools here. I will uh, use it one by one. Once you hit select, it will give you a thresholding tool. Usually it doesn't work as good with the tumor because there is no definitive color for the tumor cells. So usually I, I would trace it by myself. It's easier. So this is the pin or like the tracer. This is the rubber, and I'll show you how, how to do that. So now I'm tracing this part. Using the scroll, you could like make it the circle bigger, like this big, or you could make it like scroll down to make it very fine, like a fine pen. It's up to you. And then you don't have to go like and then keep filling it. You could just go to this bucket here and touch it. As long as it's a closed circuit or a closed circle or closed square, it will be filled. If it's not a closed shape, it will never gonna be filled. Okay, now the rubber, if I want to erase this thing, it's like a Photoshop kind of tool, easy. And then this tool will select only whatever it touches. So let's say I touch it this, and then I, I don't think this is a lesion, I'm not gonna touch it. So I hit right click, and this tool only selected, like this lesion only selected. This will increase, like, exp Expand the borders, that one would expand, that one would shrink in the lesion. Like, let's look at it in this way. It's a very minor thing. I don't know, you'd feel it maybe if I hit it many more times. I like, see now it's expanding back again. It will come like more uh, applicable if I did that. Like, let's say there's another lesion right next, to, not that close, like this close. And then I keep expanding both lesions, because anything expand, not just one. After a certain point, they will merge into one single big lesion. So careful, careful with that. Okay, now I uh, I chose the area of the tumors that I see. Of course, this is all tumors, just for you know educational purposes. And then I hit measure. Now give me a number that means that it is measured already. I'm done with the tumor measurements, now I'll choose the bone volume. So to choose the bone volume, you hit select. Thresholding comes very handy with the bone since it has uh, its unique color. So now you could like use only the bones in the femur 
without getting involved with the bones with the uh, tibia here so you go to the selecting tool that I'm using and then you hit right click it will deselect anything else if you think that I picked up some muscles because of similarities in color you could just erase it if you want S simple easy thing and then you hit measure you could adjust the uh, measurement field instead of full screen you could make it a rectangle you could make it an irregular shape you draw it yourself you could make it a circle like if you want to measure only certain part of bone like this part only like this rectangle so you hit rectangle and you define it to this part only now it's gonna choose the bone only in this rectangle nothing else see so it's up to you uh, after we did that we measured both things we can like move ahead to the next slide to the next project basically so what we could do is we could open a new image that we want not that image of course <laughs> that was a trial thing uh, we could you know go to an image like this one so that's a tibia and we could only now we don't have to go through a new data set again because since we're gonna use the same parameters and it's the same project we could go quick data set this time now it's gonna ask me for the name of the individual project not the whole set see now the whole set is Ahmed test the individual project is Ahmed test one this one is Ahmed test two uh, I forgot that here again and then you create it now it's gonna be Ahmed test rest and then this is the second project Ahmed test two if you don't want to do it one by one you hit open list the list that we just saved and you hit Ahmed test calculations again load from the test and then you hit Ahmed set. All the parameters are gonna be here. You do the same thing over again, tumor. Uh, this is the tumor, major. This is the bone, select it. Major, like you select this part only. Whatever. It's just a quick thing to, uh, to show you how to do the data. Now you uh, you got both things, the tumor volume and the bone volume. After you've done your 15 mice experiment, you want the data to be backed up, right? So you want to go to File and then Data Manager, where it stores the data. Uh, it will give you the box. Usually it takes some time. Please don't rush it because everything's going to freeze. This is the Data Manager. You make the search location the C drive and then you hit volume search once you hit it it's gonna take a while maybe five minutes more or less maybe one minute maybe less so I'll pause that video and please again don't rush it okay it's still searching okay now that's what we got after like two minutes of waiting so uh, now you want to look for Ahmed test which is our our set so this is the a Ahmed test that's it Ahmed test Ahmed test uh, once you're here you could export the data data table that's what I do so you can just drag it in here this is our sample and you could export it to Excel sheet sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so safely you could just do it to a clipboard and then you go open an excel sheet by yourself and you paste it okay that one I didn't but probably that was the long test uh, I could be yeah maybe that one yes let's try that one let's say to clipboard again and then Yes, that one where we measure the tumor volume. And then you just save it. Yes, I want to save it. Let's say on the desktop named you know, your project. And then you hit save, not cancel, of course. So that makes it the whole thing. Please uh, get back to me if you have any questions on a certain measurement or something. And it was nice to meet you. Bye-bye.